this is one of my favourite cactuses. It's a very rare cactus as well from Central Quetaro State in Mexico. This is a classic thing of how you tell what a cactus is in the spines here. Now with cacti, the spines of cacti are actually modified leaves. The actual pho photosynthetic bit, the green bit, isn't the leaf. It's the actual branches and stems, which are the ridge sections of the plant here. And the other distinguishing feature with cacti is that all these spines in each section come from one point, an, an aerial. And this little aerial here is a fluffy little central section where all the spines come from the same point. And my take on why they've got the spines, really, in part, is if they've got a big, big palmate leaf like all's chestnut or whatever in the desert with the blowing winds, they're going to have massive transpirational loss. I mean, it's just going to blast them away. They've got to adapt. I think also where these cacti grow, they have a lot, a lot of predators that would love what is in effect a non-poisonous, in the cacti cases, nutritionous meal. So they do have these spines to protect themselves as well. I want to show you something really, really funky. Cacti have brain cells. Check this out. This is called the teddy bear cactus. It's very clever. Hardly flowers producing out any seed. It propagates in a very unusual way. And it does it by these extraordinary thorns. Now, these thorns here, if I put it off carefully, have this sheath. The thorn's still on the end. And this extraordinary sheath. Now, when you come in contact with this, look, it's razor sharp. When someone walks into that, like a fishing hook, the hairs are pointing the other way, so when you walk into it, you get stabbed by the thorns. This sheath gets released, which this sheath has an act of, um, it sort of paves the way for the thorns. When it goes into you, the thorn is flung into your skin, and they stick to you, and you try and pull, it's impossible. You just will literally, virtually bleed to death, and your skin is pulled, you can't get them out. And by the time you've done that, you've taken away this whole section of cactus. It'll be stuck on your arm. This has a weak union here. It easily breaks off. I can flip that and it'll just fall off. Look, it's happened here with this one down here. I've knocked it slightly and it's fallen off. You then eventually flick it off in the paint, or a horse does, or a wild boar, whatever it does, lands on the ground and it will root into the ground and a new plant starts again. So you're propagating it. That's how it propagates itself. Stitch itself to animals or humans. The pain is extraordinary. It's fantastic how they've adapted to pro propagate in that way and they hardly flower produce seed because they don't need to.